Hello, Sam from Sound on Sound magazine here. Uh, we're at Superbooth in Berlin. I'm with Antonio from Antonio. Frap Tools. Okay. Nice to meet you. This division, Frap Audio, design professional equipment for audio. And uh, we are presenting uh, this module for 500 series. It has uh, in a single unit on a single VCA, a compression section and an expander section with a bit more function to combine them together. Okay. Okay. So, starting that, uh, we think that you also have a parallel bus. So, the whole unit can have a parallel mix of the original sound instead of a dry wet. Mm -hmm. uh, you have a parallel bus like in uh, like when you do with the missing console. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, that you have parallel bus with the clean or with the affected signal, or processed the signal. Sorry. Well, uh, the expander session can be very fast and can follow the signal in some clever, smart way because uh, it have uh, many time constant that work together. Anyway, if this is very, very fast for you, for your uh, use, and uh, you notice uh, some distortion because it tries to follow everything, and it, it really does that, you can push this classic switch that it cancel out one of the time constant and it works uh, more similar to a standard compressor. And also you, you can have uh, uh, some interesting pumping artifact like a classic compressor. Uh, you can assign the external sidechain that uh, you have uh, in, the, in the second board to compressor or to expander, or in, uh, is summed to the compressor, for example. You can uh, only send in the sidechain input a kick while uh, you are compressing a bass. Instead of a complicated routing, you only add the kick sound and start ducking. Mm -hmm. Of course, sharing the same, uh, the same uh, setting. In the compressor part, uh, you have uh, this control that we call contour, that is something like low shelf to make the compressor less sensitive to low frequencies. And uh, now we can go to the expander part. The expander part have a high pass and low pass filter that usually are associated with gate. We put on expander to make uh, it more selective. You have the time and you have the threshold. The unit can be through bypass uh, via a relay. Mm -hmm. And you have uh, some particular feature, like the one that we call priority. It means that uh, the expander can start working only after the compressor cycle is ended. So you cannot make mistake in, uh, in setting like two separate units. That may happen if you have a chained unit. Yeah. And this can be very interesting if you use uh, in live application or when you're mixing live, because this cannot, uh, you cannot have the mistake of uh, uh, sacrificing dynamics because the, the upper part of the expander uh, mix with the compression. Yeah. So you are, in any case, you are uh, reducing the gain. Does, is there a stereo link feature? No, the stereo link feature is not stereo link feature. It's intended for mono use. Okay, and it sounds as if this is as much a creative tool as it is a... Yes, the idea is to have something that can be used, uh, pass me the word, uh, normally, uh, to be as transparent as possible, to have uh, a creative tool. When I say to you that in non-classic mode, can be very fast. Mm -hmm. You can use it uh, to add uh, interesting harmonic distortion, and also because having the parallel path, you can add a bit of original signal to retain the dynamic of original signal. Very cool. So, how soon is this going to be available? This is available already. Oh, nice. This is available already. No, anyway, the official price is in the internet site. Okay. Amazing. Well, thank you very much, Antonio. Oh, thanks Lovely to you. To meet you.